I have a video about cheap wonder kids. The database is updated like 35 times since then. I've got to stay up all night and figure out how to quantify the best new cheap wonder kids in a better way than I've ever done before. Technique, passing, add that together, determination, work rate. Oh, we lost him. Too expensive. There's no release clause. What if we take the potential ability ranges? Oh, range 160 to 180. Hidden attributes. Do you like kind bars? Which Leonardo was that? Can't find him. I lost him in all of the Reyes's. Not consistent enough. He hates big matches. He doesn't like anybody. He's too old. I don't care that he's from Uzbekistan. Good. You've got it. What's up? My name is Zealand, and I have grown out a beard working so hard on this video. I realized that I one of the first videos I ever made was a 41 minute 41 minute video with the top 20 cheap wonder kids, but that was so many databases ago that I realized I needed to redo it. The video was getting a lot of attention and I thought, what if I did this right? With the way that I know how to make videos now and with the determination to actually test three different databases to make sure I could give you a nice range of a particular player's potential and I turned into PSG and tried to buy like 55 different players in order to prove to you that you can buy them for under 5 million instead of just setting the value at 100,000 and going from there. Which, just so you know, does not give you an accurate idea of exactly how much you have to pay to get a player. Where this video, I can guarantee you that with any club in the world, you will be able to buy them for 5 million or less. Because I started with arguably the most reputable club in the world, PSG, and bought them. Right at the beginning of the game, English start date June 24th, on the new database for 5 million or less. There are simply no tricks. But wait, that's not all. Not only did I do that for you, I also took a database with 382,000 players, simmed it for about 48 straight hours to get three years into the future. Thank you, supercomputer. So I can not only tell you how much they cost and what their potential ability is on average over three different databases, I can tell you what they will look like in three years in one of those databases. In order to interpret this video, you're going to have to understand a couple of things. One, the fact that potential ability is variable. Each player is given a range of potential abilities, so if you open one save, they won't have the same potential, probably, as they will have if you open another save. Two, I'm going to be using another phrase called potential rating, which quantifies how relevant the player's attributes to how good they are as a whole. So some players can have a lower potential ability, but a higher potential rating, which means that they will end up being a more effective player, even though their potential ability is lower. Personality attributes and other things can also factor into that. It's like if a player has a 20 in leadership, their potential ability is going to be higher and their current ability is going to be higher than someone with five in leadership, but it's not necessarily relevant to the position. Thus, you have something called rating instead of ability. And I'm going to be referencing both. So without further ado, I will now talk about how you can come watch me play Football Manager live on Twitch. And you can follow me on Twitter for all the latest fun news and perks and stuff. Seriously, though, we have a lot of fun on Twitch, and thank you for that. It helps pay for things like Reese if you subscribe there, which is awesome. You can subscribe here, you can subscribe there. There's a lot of subscribing going on, and I appreciate all of it. Focus! Right, okay. Without further ado... Here is the top 10 cheap wonder kids. This is an honorable mention, and mainly because, well, he doesn't quite get as good as the other people. A very unfortunate Uzbek named Yasser Yalaladinov has a potential rating that I've seen in one of my three databases of over 78, which is really high. And since I ended up with 15 players that were under 5 million but had a potential ability that got to at least 160, the other four that are honorable mentions are Adam Hlozek, Arner Sigurdsson, really only didn't make it because he's already 21, Philip Vasco, and Robert. All of those guys could end up being excellent signings for you because they fit the criteria, they just weren't good enough to make the list. 
Which brings us to number 10. Drum roll, please. Rodri. Boy's a center back. And in three years, he's only 18, but he's already made a move to Leeds United. You can get Rodri for $450,000 after a negotiation with Deportiva Leonesa. He starts there, so he's really in nobody's radar at all, but his potential rating in all three of my databases was over 70, and he's got a potential ability that can get up to 160, and will hover around typically 150. This is in the save with his lowest potential ability of the three saves that I created. Gives you an idea of how good he could potentially be, because obviously he is still very young. Definitely the type of player that fit a physical league. He's certainly large. I like the guy. He's got a nice combination of low price tag and high potential, which is how you get on this list in the first place. Good job, Zealand. Great. Excellent. But now it's time for number nine. Number nine is Jesus Vasquez. What, do you think I was going to let you get out of here without a fullback? Of course, makes no sense because this is only the second guy on the list. But Jesus Vasquez is... Why? He's got a potential ability that I believe ranges all the way up to 170. Highest I saw in three of my saves got it up to 168. His potential rating stayed above 70 in all three. And guess what? You can get this guy for under a million. Why, Zealand? Well, thanks for asking me down here in this corner. You can get Jesus Vasquez for nine or five. F 575,000 on a release clause. Right at the start of the game. Boom. He's on your team. 16 year old left back could probably start for you right away. Will definitely start for you in the future. And with a potential range that could take him up to one of the top left backs in the world. I mean, around potential ability 170, around a potential rating of 80. Wait, I crossed myself up. Potential ability and rating. Different. Highest potential rating that I saw for him was about 77. So he is a talented player, but not necessarily perhaps the best as a left fullback. You might want to move him a little further up the field or maybe move him to a holding midfield. But I got you a left back under 5 million with potential ability that can get up to 160 and definitely well above for Vasquez. That brings us to number eight. A fine Italian fellow out on the wing named Gianmarco Cagnano or something. He will cost you at the start of the game a smidge over 1 million. I mean, I got him for 1.1 at PSG. His potential rating varied from 72 to 77 in the three databases I created. He's obviously somebody that has a good distribution of skills for playing outside on the wing, and he can play on both wings, which obviously makes him even more valuable. Even in this save, at the age of 20, he's already broken into Italian youth teams. You imagine that it is best version and he can be able to get into the Italian national team and he starts at 17 years of age which means he does have the ability to play right away for you more so than the other two people we've seen so far i promise there are some older people coming later in the list but if you want cheap and you want talent that's what i'm here to deliver i'm talking about a guy with athleticism who can learn place his shots as a player trait and you can buy him for 1.1 million that's what i'm talking about here it's good an idea to move to number seven now right Oh, I love seven. It's my boy. Remember when I promised you older players? This guy's 21 at the start of the game. But, you know, we need a goalkeeper, and this guy being 21 means his potential is hard-coded. His potential rating is over 72 every single time. Let's see how much Augsburg signed him for. 2.5 million. What do you know? It's that easy. I actually, with PSG, signed him for 4.1, so... They did better than I did. I also have him in my Dortmund save, and I'm winning the Bundesliga with him in goal. Look at this. Makes the save. <laughs> Not only that, he parries it out. So he's doing a fabulous job as a goalkeeper. Yes, he's a proper shot stopper. He's got enough tools in his tool bag to be a good sweeper keeper as well he's not he's not working with two left feet and bricks for feet and whatever phrase you can think of that means he's bad he's not also is definitely going to get plenty of national experience with venezuela that i can assure you he might not win a lot of international matches but ah, who cares it's the experience that counts and everybody gets a trophy bringing it back to number six we're going back to the younger side of things the gen z x y whatever they are 
He's in Serbia, actually. And he's doing very well in this one that I sent forward. Already with four Serbian caps, 19 years of age, Filip Stovanovic. Right at the beginning of the game with PSG, I could also sign him for just a smidge over four million. They accepted that offer, went on through. Look at this man. Look at that talent. He's got versatility. He's got intelligence. He's not unathletic. There's nothing to hate about Stevanovic, and you can sign him from Partizan right away for under five million. So why aren't you? His lowest potential rating in any of these three saves that I made, any of these three saves that I made was 75. His highest was over 78. Dude's a boss. He's always going to be at least good too. Higher floor. And I'm all about higher floors. Less chance of failure. That's where you'll find me. It's just a, it's a nice place to be. You know, it's a nice place to be. A, a better view, too. Number five. This is a tricky one. Imar Oros. It's a left-sided forward player. I did three databases. He had a potential ability of 74 in this database. And then 79 and 82, both higher than Stevanovic ever got in the other two databases. But you have to act on Imar Oro's immediately. I say that because he has a release clause of 4.1 million that expires on the 30th of June, 2019. So you have to start, and that's why he's five instead of higher. He would have been even higher. This is by far the worst version of him, and honest to goodness, it's not a terrible version. You have to start your save in the English beginning of the season, June 24th, or if you're in some other weird league before that, and you have six days to get under the line on the release clause of 4.1 million to get Imar Oros. Six days, you get the scout in there, get it done. Because a potential rating of 82 is like, that's starting on a top team type stuff. 82 potential ability in one of my three databases, 79 in the other, this is by far the worst version you could get. Honestly, that means if that looks good to you, then you definitely should sign him. This brings us to the top four, and we're going back to another 16-year-old who starts in Italy, and in my simulation forward, he has stayed in Italy. You probably don't know him, but you will love him. Ahmad Traore. He, quite simply, is that dude. He has a potential rating that fluctuates between 74 and 77 of my three saves, but he's 25% of the cost of Imar Oros, and that release clause doesn't expire in six days. He costs you 1.1 million on a negotiated deal if you go after him immediately, and that's with PSG. If you're a smaller club, I guarantee you the price is lower. Napoli picked him up from Atalanta immediately for 1.5 million, and he's already made four appearances for the top youth Italian national team, and he's just starting to get better. There's a lot of improvement left in this guy, and would it scare you to know this is not nearly the highest potential that I've seen him have in this database. Somehow the database I chose to sim forward didn't have the highest potential for like anybody in the top 10, but then I realized that those guys were in the top 10 anyways despite that. That's how you know they're good. He's speed, he can play on both sides, he's a classic style advanced winger. You know him, you love him, we're moving on. What you're here for anyways, it's the top three, and for those sitting there like, Hey! We don't have any center backs on this list! Well, at least since, you know, number 10. Well, you'll be happy to know, there are two center backs in the top three. Because I secretly love defense. And number three is one of them, Bejir Omaragic. Starts at Zurich. He is a guy that, again, has a potential rating that can get over 80. And his potential rating, which means the distribution of his attributes, is brilliant for center back. You gotta love a man that doesn't waste his attribute points. Let's see how much they signed him for. I got him for $5 million at PSG, so he's the most expensive guy on the list. He's already got four appearances for the national team. So if you take a year, it's gonna cost you $20 million. But PSG, I figured, was the best example and uh, negotiated it down to five million. He's big enough. He's fast enough. He's intelligent enough. He's physical enough. Even he's, he's technical enough. You can put him on the ball and not be scared of it. He even has 11 dribbling to get the ball done. Maybe as a ball playing defender with a little shimmy and a little shake and a little Louise and then the hair and then the woo. 
You know what I mean. He plays for the Swiss national team. He's on Leipzig. He's only 20 years old. Why would you not want him if you have the five million to spend and you need a defender? But Omaragic, he was a little too expensive. Mother? Oh. All right. My family wants me to come do a shot with them. I love the Shannons. Not encouraging drinking. It's just we are having a taco bar for dinner tonight because why not? Shots included. Salt on the rim. Let's roll. Oh, okay. That tequila slapped. As I was saying, Omaragic is a little expensive to be in the top two spots on this list, but his potential rating honestly rivals the next two guys that we are going to look at. And number two is someone that you will be operating in a direct comparison with a lot. That would be 18-year-old Nicolo Armini. I had this guy recommended to me on stream, and I honestly didn't like him that much when I scouted him while I was at Dortmund. But, turns out that in my Dortmund save on Twitch, I ended up with a pretty low potential roll, because this guy can get up above 80 regularly on his potential rating. In two out of my three databases, he was above an 80 in potential rating. He's a player that you can get for about a million dollars. I negotiated 950000 with PSG right at the start of the game, and he's not honestly that young, and he starts with Lazio, who's obviously a pretty good team, so I was surprised he was as cheap as he was. As with most players that start at a good team already and have the potential to end up being really, really good, the, the price tag is going to go up pretty quickly. So if you want to get after Armini, you probably want to get him in the first season or two. Because well, I could have signed him at 950000 at the beginning. Now he's at $1.8 just for a loan. That's a pretty hefty payment. You're only going to get the player for a year. So Armini... Talented all-around center back, just like Omaragic. I knew I was going to say it wrong. And fortunately, center backs are undervalued, even though they do a lot of important things on the field. So you can sign Armini for maybe even under a million dollars. But this has all been a build-up to number one. Me getting all disheveled, spending my entire Saturday looking up and compiling numbers on every player that could potentially be under 5 million with a potential ability of at least 160 in one of my three databases that I created, not shaving, not getting a haircut, all this madness leading us to one player who rises above them all. One player changes lives. One player to rule them all. A player worth all the struggle and the clear number one on this list. Flamenco's talented, explosive, dynamic left-wing attacker, Lazaro. He already has two appearances for the Brazilian national team. His lowest potential rating was 78 and a half. His highest, the man gets up to like 84 on the potential rating scale. His potential ability roles are going to look similar to Omaragic and Armini, the guys right next to him. But his potential rating, so the distribution of his attributes, are absolutely sensational for his position, which starts out as a left wing, but has been shifted by Barcelona. Oh yeah, he plays for Barcelona three years in, so that he can actually play striker, and I'm guessing drop deep from that position and be effective as well. Obviously, none of these guys are going to be all-round, all-world players, but Lazaro has the opportunity to be an all-world level player. I mean, those types of potential ratings are truly tremendous, and you expect him to end up on one of the best teams in the world if he's on the high side of his potential. He's that good. But here you are thinking, how much is he going to cost? 800000 That's it. Not only is Lazaro arguably the best player on this list, he is one of the cheapest players on this list. 800000 from Flamenco. You gotta move fast, though. Two years later, at the age of 19, he cost over $20 million out of Brazil, which is one of the most expensive deals. I and mean, some of the best players out of Brazil come out, and they come out over 20 just over 20 That's like the big baller Brazil money, the guys that are already definitely good and star players in Brazil. He gets there in two years. So Lazaro, have to get on it early. But that's the same with all the best ones, right? Because they're going to get real good. And thus brings a close to a top 10 that I spent an entire weekend working on. I hope you are super excited to go out and find these players and sign them. Some excellent deals on this list. The entire Google Doc, which I believe has over 50 players on it that I considered at one point or another, 
could I, I could buy for under five million and had a potential ability of over 60 will not be released quite yet. I'm going to make a few more videos from it. Let me know in the comments what videos you would want to see from a list like that, because obviously there are plenty of guys on that list that were very good, but I couldn't get them for under five million, which is where I decided to draw the arbitrary line. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like this video and subscribe since you made it all the way to the end. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Maybe you were just making fun of my beard and hair. That is perfectly reasonable. I will see you next time or on stream. Have a wonderful, uh, boring day. Exciting day. Who am I kidding? I'm running out of Netflix shows to watch. On that note, though. Shower.